Guys, so we're in the sheep pen. We've got most of them out now. We've got these three orphan ones here, which are looking for their milk. This one wasn't sucking, but it's getting better now. That's number five, you know him. That's the other one, those two there. That one and that one are brothers. Their mum died of mastitis. And then we just got the rest here, which are gonna go out here, which I'm gonna just make a pen with these hurdles. All that there. So um, I'll get this on a time lapse and sit back and enjoy. Right, it's starting to get dark now, but I've finished the hurdles, just given this for the moment. And then they can uh, go out the other side there another time. So uh, we'll let them out, see what they think of it. Oh, it's too dark in here to see. You probably can't see very well, guys, but uh, yeah, I've got to flash on. Take this hurdle away. Hold that, Alex. Drive these out. Come on, you bags. All you can see is just eyes. Come on. So we're going to let them in the shed as well because it's due to rain tomorrow. Go on, 21. Are they still not allowed in this area as well? Oh, I'm going to sort it out in a minute. They're just going to make their way out. Go on, out. Yeah, tip down. Go on. So they'll enjoy that fresh grass but we haven't done that well this year and the milk hasn't been brilliant because as you saw we got them in quite early uh, it was uh, storm dennis we got them in or storm car care or whatever it was for um that one that uh aborted so yeah see they're enjoying it now 
I've got to tie it up a bit more, otherwise they're going to probably get out and that's going to be a pain. As long as they don't go on the road, then that's my main thing. But I'm just going to put these hurdles up quite right across there now, and then we'll get back. Welcome back then guys, so you see him just the next day now and the weather has gone back to the proper English weather. So um, I'm just going to give Rami his cake. Rami, come on. <laughs> just put him down here to tidy up a bit. See so he's going to run and... In the bucket. In the bucket. Yeah, he's going to eat that now. He's got water there. Oh, you guys probably haven't seen the next two calves we had a week after that other one was born. So we've got this red one here, which looks just like her mum. She's a... I don't know. And then this one here looks just like her mum as well. They want some milk. We'll give them that in a minute. And the sheep are out here still. They've eaten quite a lot of this grass now. We're going inside because the weather isn't that good. So we've got to feed these now, so we'll get the cake. Quad bike's still sat in its same position. That's been there for a couple of months now. I'm going to get that sorted out. Got the lamb's milk up there ready, so we're just making. So in the shed, we've uh, it was getting dark last night, so I couldn't film. But basically, we've moved the orphan lambs in there. They were over there, not pen. They're in there. They've got a big space, a bucket, and some stuff to jump on. And then all these ewes up here get all this space here for themselves. So I better just feed these quickly. I've just fed them now. You can see behind me, they're just eating. And then the orphan ones are there. Still trying to get used to using a camera. But um, yeah, I got to feed these quickly, so I'll do that. And then that'll be the end of the video, I think. So, um, we've actually got some exciting things coming up in the next couple of weeks. Look at him. Uh, no, where is it? There. That lamb. We've got some exciting things coming up, which I'm not going to tell you yet. One's going to be in the next couple of weeks, and the next will be in the next couple of months. So, um, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and like the video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.